The Best Things to Do in Cancun, Mexico Number 1, Explore Cancun's Hotel Zone Cancun is divided into two areas. Downtown, also known as Ciudad Cancun, and Cancun Island, also known as the Hotel Zone or Zona Hotelera. The Hotel Zone is the primary tourist area, synonymous with resorts, catamarans, wild nightlife and beaches. It's a 15-mile strip of sand shaped like the number 7. This is where most people stay. As the name implies, there are tons of hotels as well as most of the nightlife and beaches. Restaurants and bars line the only road, Culcacan Boulevard, which runs from one side of the hotel zone to the other. Number 2, Visit Downtown Cancun If you get sick of the tourist Disneyland that is the hotel zone, Downtown Cancun provides a taste of local culture, with delicious street food, small shops, green parks, and Mexican wrestling. Downtown Cancun, aka Ciudad Cancun, is the main residential area for locals too. This is where all the people who work in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula tourist industry actually live. Wander down to Avenida Tulum to see and experience the real Cancun. If you're a foodie, Make sure to stuff your face full of tacos from the vendors there. There's a nice park too, called Parque Las Palapas. Number 3, Swimming in Cenotes Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula is famous for its amazing cenotes, natural pools formed in limestone caves. The entire Riviera Maya is covered with thousands of cenotes, many of them you can swim in. Cenotes are created when the limestone surface collapses, creating an opening into the Yucatan's large underground river system. Most people visit them to go swimming, scuba diving or snorkeling. Some of the best cenotes near Cancun are located along the Ruta de Cenotes, Cenote Route, near the city of Puerto Morelos, about a 30-minute drive away. Here you'll find Cenote La Noria, Verde Lucero, Cenote Mojaras, and Cenote Selvatica among many others. My favorite was Verde Lucero, which has its own zip line. Number 4, Snorkeling near Cancun Snorkeling turquoise blue Caribbean waters is an ocean activity you can't miss while visiting Cancun. One amazing underwater attraction is the Underwater Museum, or Musa. 500 sculptures were created from materials which encourage coral reef development. Huge hands, statues of locals and VW beetles, the exhibits are surrounded by ocean wildlife giving you a really unique experience. Musa continues to expand, as more sculptures are added, while the old ones are being eaten away by marine creatures. You can book a snorkeling tour directly starting at 30 US dollars. Number 5, Temescal Ceremony a Temescal ritual is a traditional Mayan ceremony of purification which takes place in a tiny hut. You strip down to your underwear, or swimsuit, then enter the sweat lodge which is heated with hot rocks and water, turning it into a steamy sauna. The ceremony is led by a local shaman, who conducts the ritual and takes care of participants. The Temescal ceremony takes place in complete darkness, as the shaman pours water over the hot rocks, chanting and using different herbs to summon spirits. Temescal was performed since ancient times, is seen as a purification ceremony that cleans the body, mind, and soul. As your body is sweating in the tiny hut, you enter a deep state of meditation, enhanced by the shamanic chanting. Number 6, Visit Cancun's Best Beaches the 13 miles of Cancun's coast is lined with Instagram-worthy beaches featuring soft, white sand, teal blue waters and a cool breeze. The hotel zone has many beaches where you can relax and sip your margarita, but some of them really stand out, thanks to their beauty and atmosphere. Playa del Fines is one of the largest beaches in Cancun. It is also known for the iconic Cancun sign and for being void of hotels or resorts, which makes it a local's favorite. The currents are quite strong, so swimming is not advised. Playa Tortugas is best for families with kids, because it has small waves that allow swimming. The only drawback is the fact it can get crowded. You can enjoy a drink or seafood at the Oceanfront restaurant. 
Chacmool Beach is the perfect place to dive into the Caribbean waters. There are plenty of operators who rent water sports equipment, which makes this beautiful beach heaven for all water sports lovers. Playa Forum is the perfect mix between a vibrant atmosphere and a tropical retreat. It is located behind the most popular nightclub of Cancun, the Coco Bongo, this beach is filled with restaurants and bars. Number 7, Zip Lining in the Jungle Zip lining is one of the hallmark adventures to do in Cancun, so you can't miss it, even if you think you're afraid of heights. In fact, it's even better if you are. There are a couple of different theme parks near Cancun with zip lines. The closest theme park where you can enjoy zip lining is Selvatica. They offer multiple packages with 10 different zip lines. Explore Adventure Park also has two zip line circuits, each with seven different routes, with the highest point at 45 meters, 147 feet. All these adventure parks usually have other activities too, like ATVs and cenotes. Number 8, Chichen Itza Maya Ruins The Maya city of Chichen Itza is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, famous for its amazing ancient pyramids. The oldest building in Chichen Itza dates from the 5th century. The most impressive structure of the city is the 98-foot-tall Pyramid Temple of Kukul Khan, aka El Castillo. The nine terraces around it symbolize the belief in heaven with nine levels. Chichen Itza is well preserved so you can get a glimpse of how the ancient Maya people lived. It's located about 2.5 hours away from Cancun by car, or 3 hours by bus, and is the Yucatan's most popular Mayan site. Number 9, Cancun Scenic Tower The Cancun Scenic Tower, aka Toria Seneca, offers amazing views of the Caribbean coast, and Cancun itself. It's open every day from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Hear about the history of Cancun as the tower slowly spins 360 degrees for a spectacular bird's eye view of the entire hotel zone from the 100 meters, 300 feet, tall tower. The ride up takes about 5 minutes, and you can spend another 15 minutes taking photos as the deck spins around giving you views in all directions. Number 10, Shopping at Mercado 28 Mercado 28, Market 28, is a huge shopping center in downtown Cancun. This isn't your typical mall, instead it's a giant flea market that boasts 600 vendors who sell pretty much everything. From textiles to maracas and leather items, you can find some cool Mexican souvenirs at Mercado 28. Many items are handcrafted and unique, so they make great travel gifts. Feel free to test your bargaining skills here. Resist the seller's first price and you can walk away with a great deal. Stop by one of the local restaurants for food at a fraction of hotel zone prices too. Mercado 28 is easy to reach by bus from the hotel zone, but if you have a rental car, remember which lot you park in, as there are four different entrances and parking lots that look very similar. Number 11, Best Cancun Nightlife and Nightclubs Okay. I can't talk about Cancun without mentioning the nightlife. The city is known for its crazy nightlife, especially during spring break, when students travel to Mexico for a little fun. After a day at the beach, when sun goes down you can unleash your energy and dance the night away. The best nightclubs in Cancun usually have long waiting lines, but it's worth the wait. Coco Bongo is the most popular club in Cancun. They have acrobats cover bands and DJs who spice up the night. It's kind of a mix between nightclub and Vegas show. The city nightclub features celebrity DJs like Tiesto, Fergie and Paul Van Dyke who perform on a regular basis. With three floors and nine bars, the club can hold up to 5,000 people each night. Mandala Beach Club is the place to go for a bikini party. This outdoor house music club opens daily at 9.30 p.m., offering great music and delicious tropical cocktails. Dady O is the place to go if you are looking for techno and house music, professional dancers, light shows and body painting. The club has five bars and two floors where you can party until sunrise. Number 12, Stand Up Paddleboarding Stand Up Paddleboarding is the latest trend in Cancun, 
but it is also a pretty easy and friendly sport that everyone can enjoy. You can rent your own paddleboard from the beach, or join a group trip to explore a certain area. If you are up for a challenge, join a long paddleboard tour that travels from Cancun all the way to Isla Mujeres. Other options are to paddle Nichep's Lagoon Mangrove Jungle or go on a sunrise wildlife tour. Number 13, Zoxamilco. Looking to enjoy a traditional Mexico fiesta? Give Zoxamilco a try. This is a Mexican party held on boats which travel on the canals near Cancun. It's a theme park designed after the original Xochimilco in Mexico City, where families and friends rent out boats called Trigenera and float down the water listening to live musicians. There is music, tequila, and delicious food, which makes Zoxamilco a great way to taste local culture. During Zoxamilco there is live music and people dance a lot. There are also many social games which keep the party going. The music and food come from different Mexico areas, which makes the party a colorful display of local culture. Number 14, Sunset Sailing Trip. Mexico's Riviera Maya and Isla Mujeres offer some of the most beautiful sunsets in the Caribbean and the best way to enjoy them is on a romantic sunset sailing trip off the coast. Board a sailing catamaran and watch the colorful sunset as the breeze plays with your hair. Most sunset sailing trips out of Cancun also offer an open bar and snacks, so you can sit back and relax. These journeys generally last about two hours, and companies offer a bad weather refund if it gets too stormy or rough. Number 15, Scuba Diving Adventures. Cancun is a haven for water sports enthusiasts and it's the perfect place to learn scuba diving. There are many underwater attractions in the area. Cancun is located close to the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef, the second largest reef in the world. Home to dolphins, many kinds of tropical fish, eels, lobsters, nurse sharks, and majestic eagle rays. Isla Mujeres, the underwater Musa Museum, and nearby cenotes are favorite spots. There are several locations where newbies can learn scuba diving and get their potty license.